Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today it's going to be a different kind of video. Uh, as many of you know, or uh, if you're new to my channel, you won't know, but you'll know now, is I crochet and knit. I do both. But lately I've been doing more crocheting than I have knitting because it goes quicker. And when you want to make gifts, you know, in a, in a pinch, that's the way to go. So, I want to show you what I've been working on. First of all, I'm going to show you some washcloths or dishcloths, whatever you want. Uh, I made six of them as a Christmas gift. I will be making more for more gifts. Uh, I'll show you. I used um, all cotton yarn. Yes, 100% cotton. So that's what I use when I make the washcloths and dishcloths. And this is how I am going to, you know, wrap them when I do it. I'm going to show you all six that I made. I made all different ones. This is the uh, jute string that you get from the Dollar Tree. Yes. So this is 100% cotton. And I'm going to show you what I did here. Here's another one. I did a half double crochet on the body. And on the edge, I did uh, two rows of single crochet on the edge. So I got a purple one in there. Look at this one. So I didn't have enough to do the whole, uh, <clears throat> you know, the two rows of single crochet on the outside of this pat, this color. I just had enough to do that. So I took another one, another color, and, you know, I picked up the hot pink or whatever right there to do as the two rows of single crochet around the edge there. So that's that one. Then we have this one here, you know, and because they handmade, uh, I, I did the same thing. I um, cast on 25 stitches. So, and this is the length that I got. It's about an eight by eight, something like that. But as you can see, you know, they all match up, but they're all not going to be the same, you know, precisely because it is hand crocheted. Here's the other one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And here's the other one, yellow, that I did. So these are all cotton, like I said, and I'm just going to take them, you know, roll it up like this and then get the jute twine and put a little bow around it like this and I'm going to stack them you know let me show you I'll do one more roll it you know imagine it with the jute twine and then stack it as a gift isn't that pretty I thought that was really really pretty so if you know how to half double crochet and single crochet this is super easy I didn't follow any pattern I just did what I did, <laughs> yeah. I just did half double crochet to give it some body. You know, I tried double crochet, but it was too, too many like holes in it for me. So I went to a half and it's perfect. And like I said, single crochet on the edge. And if you run out, use a contrasting color to go around, you know? So that's that. Now I wanna show you a work in progress. And they call it whips in crochet and knitting. So this is a whip that I'm doing. And this is going to be almost like a sofa, shawly type thing, you know, when it's cold. And yeah, I did green, guys. Yeah, I could, I, I, I could have done any color, really. But this is what this is beginning to look like. Now the edges here, here's the edge. You could finish that edge up if you wanted to, you know, like single crochet it all the way down, but I kind of like the ripple effect of the edge. So I will be leaving the edge like that. So I used acrylic yarn for this. This is this color here that I got. And let's see, this is, oh, they were all size four, by the way, the cotton yarn and this acrylic yarn is a size four. It tells you to use a five millimeter for this. 
and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter for this. Yeah, it all depends. You know, you could do as it says or whatever. And this one here is called grass and it is in the medium four right there. So, and then for the second color, I use this here. This has a little sparkle and shine in it. You know, that had to go in there. So this is how this is gonna go. This isn't finished yet. So this is the beginning and the end will be this color here. So I got a stripe of this, a stripe of that. I only had one of these uh, balls of yarn. So I made a stripe out of it. And now I'm going back to the sparkly one here. And then I'm gonna end it with this. So this is like, a, you know, for your sofa, as you can see, I'm still working on it. You know, wrap around, it's gonna be much longer. Sit on the sofa, stay nice and cozy, warm, or you can use it as a lap blanket. You know, put it on your lap and just bring it up like this. Yeah, to keep you warm. Now, what I did here is called a double herringbone uh, crochet. And cast on 86 you know, for the width, for the width, and then the length is just gonna be as long as you want it. You know, you can stop it, whatever. What it looks like so far, like I said, I'm using a five and a half on this here. And I, oh, on the washcloths, the dishcloths, I used a four, four millimeter crochet hook on, on these. And I am gonna be making more of these because I do have more cotton yarn and I wanna make them for everybody you know, as a, as a gift. And because they're cotton, they feel good. They feel really, really nice. So, yes, I would suggest cotton, you know, in a dishcloth or, or a washcloth. That's what I would do. The acrylic's good, but it, it doesn't feel as nice as the cotton. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you what I've been working on. Oh, here's the ends that I still have to weave in you know, on the side there. It doesn't look like it's lined up, but that's because I didn't stretch it out. But anyway, these ends have to be weaved in. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, more to come. Yes, so let me know what you think. Let me know, do you like these? I think they'll make an awesome gift, right? But I wanted to show you that uh, like I said, I haven't been doing knitting too much, but I'll get back into the knitting too, eventually. You know, I'll get tired of crocheting and then I go off to knitting. But I was working on these two at the same time because <laughs> I get bored. I get bored of just doing one thing, so I switch off. When I get bored of doing the washcloths, I go back to this. Yes. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this video. If you'd like to see more of these crocheting or knitting videos, let me know in the comments below. Okay, guys, be safe out there. Have a great day. And until next time, bye now.